Now, the final thing that I want to do here is add a custom refinement category. Uh, I should note that before doing this, uh, I have done a, a little bit of prep work. So uh, it's important to note that the property that you want to use must be a mapped and managed property. Uh, you also need to execute a full crawl after mapping uh, for the property to be used. Uh, it should also be noted that in SharePoint 2010, there is an option to create refinement categories based off of managed metadata columns. Uh, the, the process for adding refinements based off of managed metadata columns is very similar to what I'll show you here, uh, but the code is slightly different. And during this webinar, we'll not be getting into the subject of mapping managed properties or uh, creating refinements based off of managed columns. Uh, but this information can be found in our book, ProSharePoint 2010 Search. So after doing the prep work in Central Admin to map a managed property, I'm ready to expose it to the refinement panel. In this case, I have a property that I've called uh, Fragrance. So I want to add a new ability to refine down on Fragrance. So here I'm going to edit the page. And I'll follow all the initial steps that I did uh, when we were working with SharePoint before. And I'll edit the web part. And then I want to open the XML again. Here I could copy all this and throw this into Notepad, but uh, I actually have that here from before when we worked with it. Um, so as we talked about before, if I search for the term category, I'll be able to jump straight to uh, my first uh, managed property here. I'm going to go a little bit down this page here, and I'll just start working with this category. Instead of rewriting this entire set of code, I'm going to take a little shortcut here and just copy the code that I already have in place for the site refiner. And I'm going to just add that in right here so that I don't have to recreate that whole set of code. So I mentioned before that the uh, property that we want to work with is something called fragrance. So here in the title, I do need to change that. And then I need to look through the rest of the parameters here for this particular category and make sure that there's nothing else that needs to be changed. I, I know that one of the things that I need to change is the property that's specifically being mapped. When I created this property, I remember that I created the property fragrance uh, lowercase so I am going to add that in as my new mapped property but I'll just quickly scan through here and I notice that I do I did copy in uh, the ability to show counts and I can change the uh, the way that this particular property is sorted change the way uh, that, that the direction is occurring but I'll look at this, and, and I agree, this is, this is what I want to add in. So at this point, I'm going to, again, select all of that. And copy it into my text editor. And click OK. And I've made sure that I am not using the default configuration. then I'll want to apply it and click OK and finally save and close and at this point if I've done everything correctly when I was manipulating that XML uh, I should have a new refinement category uh, for fragrance here and then I can even test it out and double check that I can drill in on that particular property and I can prove that.
So before jumping into Ontolica Search and Preview and making these customizations within those programs, I do want to refresh those uh, for anybody watching that hasn't uh, been introduced previously to Ontolica Search and Preview. Uh, these are both search extensions uh, for SharePoint, so they, they work on any SharePoint platform ranging from Search Server Express 2008 all the way up to SharePoint 2010 and fast. Uh, they're designed to be uh, very easy to implement uh, solutions that allow you to get uh, aside from uh, several several new features uh, within search in SharePoint a, a much easier configuration interface for SharePoint uh, there are uh, intelligence driven features that uh, that drive search suggestions to users to guide them to their information uh, as you'll see uh, there are uh, deep refiners uh, so that we are, are able to analyze more than just uh, say 500 documents uh, within the uh, the refinement panel and there's a variety of other features such as uh, full document preview capability with with uh, search term highlighting uh, that can occur right in the browser. So getting into Ontolica Search, let me first pull up an Ontolica Search Center. And here we'll jump into Ontolica Search. And as I mentioned previously, for anybody that isn't hasn't been previously introduced uh, to this solution, this is a search extension for SharePoint. So uh, we aren't completely replacing the search engine. We're just setting a layer of web parts on top of it that allow you to work with this search interface in a much more fluid and easier fashion. So uh, here, let me execute a search through Ontolica. And we'll jump into the search center, which is, uh, as you can see here, a, a little bit more uh, dynamic environment than what we saw in the base enterprise SharePoint 2010 uh, search environment. Regarding numbered refiners, which is the first thing that we did uh, in base SharePoint 2010, uh, numbered refiners are automatically exposed in Ontolic Search. Uh, so this isn't something that you need to jump into the XML and configure. These are automatically exposed there. You can turn them off if you didn't want them to occur, but uh, because they're very, very lightweight, uh, the way w that Ontolic Search is passing the, the query to uh, SharePoint 2010 search engine, uh, these don't really provide uh, or insert any sort of um, additional load to the server, at least not in most environments. So since number exp refiners are already exposed, we don't need to get into how to customize those, but one of the things that you might want to do is change the accuracy index. Uh, so to do that here, just like in base SharePoint, we're going to go edit the web part. So here I went to edit page, and I'll jump down to my refinement web part and here I find my uh, refinement panel uh, customizations so I'm going to jump down the page and I'm going to find the uh, the number of results that we're analyzing this is the equivalent of the accuracy index in SharePoint 2010 uh, by default this is set to 100 but if we want to enable a deep, much deeper and more accurate refiners, I can jump this up to here to say, let's say 2,000. So I'm going to set that to 2,000 and click OK. And then I just need to stop editing the page. Now let's pull back a search here, just like we did in SharePoint 2010, uh, that's providing a, a bit broader set of results. So here I'm pulling back 712 results. We can already notice right off the back that this is able to analyze more results than SharePoint 2010 is capable of analyzing uh, just by looking at the HTML uh, refinement option. Uh, we can see some additional refinements here. We notice that I'm already over 100 uh, by looking here at this particular refinement option but quite easy to increase the accuracy index within Ontolica Search for SharePoint. Now, the final thing that we want to do is add a new uh, custom refinement category. This is something that we looked at how to do in base SharePoint 2010, but we'll jump into it here in Ontolica. So, uh, we want to jump over to Site Settings, and we want to hop up to the highest level with our site. Uh, just particularly how we're making the change on this particular environment. And then I'm going to click on Ontolica search tabs. And I should note here that uh, Ontolica mines your configuration hierarchy. 
in basic enterprise search in SharePoint 2010, uh, you notice that you have to make the same XML changes on every one of your search centers. Uh, this isn't quite the case in Ontolica. In Ontolica, you can make settings uh, up at the top farm level and, and cause them to be inherited down to lower level sites. This really allows you to uh, decentralize the amount of work that you have to go through to customize your SharePoint search experience. Now, you can also create custom search experiences for various different search centers and user groups. You don't have to make everybody have the exact same refinement panel and the exact same experiences on all your sites. In fact, not only can you create custom search centers in Ontolica Search, uh, but you can even target specific features within the search centers to particular audience groups. Uh, for example, the refinements that are available to your marketing team uh, that you might want to make available they are very different than maybe the refinements that you want to provide to your human resources team and, and so in, with Ontolica search depending on uh, how you customize the site hierarchy and the in the type of audiences that you set to certain features uh, you can configure all of that now in, in this case I'm going to just work at the ho highest level here and I'm going to manip manipulate the all sites So here I have a, the variety of various different settings that I can make within Ontolica Search uh, outside of uh, the web part level. And I'm going to want to change my refinement properties. Here I can see the current refinement properties that I already have set. And I'm going to want to add a new property. The property that I'm going to make in this case is one of energy type. Uh, I've already, just like in base SharePoint 2010's Enterprise Search, created a uh, custom uh, mapped property. And so I've done all that prerequisite work before I ever got to this stage. So I know that the refinement type that I want to build is energy type. And I wasn't exactly really creative when I made this, but uh, you, are, you will see here that you have a list of all of your mapped managed properties so that you don't have to remember exactly which one you were, you were looking for and, and build that into your XML. I can actually just drop down from this list here. I just happen to remember that the, the property that I built around this was called metadata. So again, wasn't getting very creative here. You'll notice that Ontolica Search automatically recognizes this property and the property type and then provides you with a number of options around that. And you can begin to build out the way that this particular refinement interacts uh, if you'd like to do so. You can even change the particular ta target audience so that uh, you can build this refinement around uh, a particular user group. So as I mentioned before, you might want to provide your marketing team a different search experience than you provide for your human resources team. But if this is all I want to do, just create a basic refinement. That's all the setting I need to make. And in fact, I can then jump over to Ontolica Search and automatically test out that this is working. Here I see that I have an energy type refiner. And I can see the other types of uh, energy that are available. And with that, that concludes what I wanted to show you on customizing the search refinement panel in SharePoint 2010. Uh, as we saw, we can add numbered refiners through the XML. Uh, I can increase the accuracy index to uh, slightly improve the number of documents that SharePoint is analyzing for the refinement panel. And then finally, I can add custom uh, categories. Um, I also showed you how to do these, these same things in Ontolica Search uh, uh, to save yourself time. Uh, I, I appreciate everybody attending, and uh, I want to provide my contact information here, uh, as well as my colleague Robert Piddock, who I'd like to uh, thank for answering questions through the chat. Uh, and I appreciate it, and uh, hope that you have a chance to check out our book, uh, Pro SharePoint 2010 Search. And then also, uh, feel free to reach out to us uh, if there's any questions that we can answer around uh, extending your search environment uh, with Ontolica Search.